Hi everybody, Dr. Adam Smith from Ultimate Bariatrics here. Um, I, I'm going to talk about the holidays today. So, uh, holidays are hard for bariatric patients, especially the first year, because holidays are about all about food and family and gatherings and things, and they're going to be different this year. Because of the pandemic and everything, they're discouraging large gatherings. Uh, and we in our own family, uh, because we have some older folks, are not going to have the typical huge gathering of 30 or 40 people at our house. I'm not going to cook the huge amount of everything. So it's going to be real different for us. And if you're a weight loss surgery patient, it's gonna, it might even have the potential to be a little bit harder because that first round of holidays after you have your surgery, you no longer can consume that huge plate of turkey and dressing and cranberry sauce and gravy and whatever your particular food preferences are during the Thanksgiving holiday. And so the bad news is, is you're gonna go through a, a denial and an anger and a, a separation process uh, not just the first year, because every holiday year, sometimes I, I think back about all those happy childhood memories that we had about these, you know, I had a big family, a big extended family. My grandmother was the oldest of 11 children, and my other grandmother was the youngest of 11 children. So aunts and uncles and cousins, it was like an anthill when we had holidays, and, and I miss that. You know, that, that was my childhood memories and very happy times. And it was all about food and, and, and traditional foods. Like my, my father's side of the family, their food was different than my mother's side of the family, you know. And, and then certain particular dishes that were unique and stuff. And now I can't eat them. And, and now I've lost half of the recipes even if I wanted to be able to eat them. So I just want you to... Take a minute to stop and think about how we're going to handle these holidays uh, from a weight loss surgery perspective. It's not about food. It's about reflection. It's about family. And even if we can't meet together, uh, my mission this year is to reach out and I'm going to even get stationary and handwrite communication to my family members this year and my friends. And I'm going to send them personal messages because we can't be together doesn't mean that we can't be together in spirit. And for the food, we're not going to make a big old turkey. We're not going to make a big old feast this year for Thanksgiving. We're going to keep it extremely simple. We're going to focus on the things that matter, and that is preserving our health, staying on the course, appreciating the things that are positive. We've had a lot of negative things happen to us this year, uh, uh, both personally and professionally, just like everyone else in the whole country. But it is my promise to myself, and I'm going to try to promise my family and my staff that we're going to keep this holiday season positive. It's not going to be about food. It's going to be about getting better, getting better physically, getting better spiritually, and getting better relationship-wise with the community and our friends. We will pull through this. It's going to get better. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. But we're going to get better. We're going to come out on the other side. But the most important thing you can do is let's keep our weight down. Because we know that being significantly overweight makes us a bigger, more dangerous target for this horrible virus. So let's not regain weight during the holidays. Let's keep our eye on the prize. Let's focus on the things that matter. And let's get through this holiday season. If you need a little extra help, we'll telehealth. If you need to come in the office, we're able to see people in the office. We're spreading appointments out. We're avoiding having crowded waiting rooms. We're practicing social distancing. I've washed my hands so many times I don't have any skin left on them. So uh, we will see you. We will talk to you. We will call you on the phone. We'll FaceTime. We'll Duo. Whatever it takes. Emails. We love emails. But let's keep our eye on the prize this holiday season. Focus on things that really matter. Keep our weight down. Stay positive. 
and get your friends involved. If you know someone that's had weight loss surgery that's struggling, get them involved. Have them call, support them, just give them a little encouragement and we'll get through this. And come spring or summer, I pray that everything will be nice. We can go outside and we'll throw a big old celebration party at some point and say, boy, I'm glad we got through that stuff. Anyway, kind of rambly today, but appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support we've gotten through the years here at Ultimate Bariatrics. I'm going on, I guess, my 30th year of practice now. And I just want to say personally, I appreciate the support I've had from all of my patients through the years, my colleagues, my friends, and my family. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that has placed their trust in us here at Ultimate Bariatrics. And we want to reach out to you. We want to support you. We want to do whatever it takes for you to have a safe and healthy holiday season and a great new year. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.